boss. Wow! What happened to your face? Did you pass out at your local bar? Again? David, if you must know my personal business, I'm booked in for plastic surgery this morning. Ooh. It's important to take preventative measures. None of us are getting any younger, you know? Yeah, I'll tell her to my nan. Why? Well, she's dead. Oh. David, this is Dr Cotton. He's a workplace stress expert. I've decided that you both need to start looking into poor mental health in the company. Yeah, sure, boss. And David, when you come back this afternoon and report in, if you see a much younger woman sitting in this chair, just don't be alarmed. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> hey, Doc, guess how old I am? Uh, I don't know, 60? 60, good one. Guess again. 61. 61? Call yourself a doctor? Dave, let's go and have a walk on the floor and see if you can spot any early warning signs of a possible mental health issue. I quit! God, didn't see that coming. Dave, you can help her now. Oh, calm the farm, Doc. Well, I'm supposed to be their counsellor, their psychologist. OK, welcome back to Dr Dave. Got a lot of issues with the staff here. Uh, Harry, what seems to be your problem? Uh, I've been having trouble sleeping, Dave. Oh, you don't seem to have trouble sleeping at your desk. <laughs> and Jacinta, uh, speaking of desk, yours is normally so spotless, but at the moment it's kind of messy and unkept. So? Yeah, and I haven't seen your stuff drinks for a while. I've been busy. You're not so busy you can't have an affair with the next door neighbour's housekeeper. She doesn't have a housekeeper. And, uh, Trent, you're in a kind of a bad mood at the moment. You got those old childhood issues just bubbling to the surface there? Yeah. Uh, wait, what? No, I'm fine. And... By the way, where, where, where the hell am I? Yeah, where are we, Dave? This is Dr. Dave. And remember, guys, it doesn't take a pack of wild monkeys to make a muffin. OK, we'll be back in a minute on Dr. Dave. Who are you talking to, Dave? Dave. Dave? Dave. Oh. Dave. Oh. Dave. Oh. Sorry, Doc, but the idea of me being a psychologist is crazy talk. No, managers don't have to be counsellors or psychologists. But when a member of your team, their output has been declining, you need to inquire why. So, is there anyone who's been behaving differently lately? Someone who's usually very involved, they're more distant or coming in late? Someone who's been getting a bit aggro? Oh well, yeah, I can think of at least three of them. But what if they do have mental health issues? What if I say something that sets them off? No, you won't do that and I'll show you why. Let's go through the steps. Just initiate a conversation with the staff member. Don't immediately raise the performance issue, but inquire about their well-being. Find a private time and place where you won't be interrupted. So Trent, you don't seem your usual self. Do you want to talk about anything? Or? Over time, you and the employee can have more and more open discussions. My doc thinks... My doc say, thinks I've got depression. Oh, are you getting proper help? Yeah, I've been referred to a psychologist. First sessions later this week. Trent, is anything at work affecting you? Can we do anything else to support you here? Over the next few weeks, check in regularly with the employee. Maintain a focus on well-being, and usually the performance issue will start to sort itself out and the behaviour will return back to the normal range. We should check in on a regular basis, Trent. Yeah, yeah, that, that'd be great. Hey, boss, we're back. How'd you go with the plastic surgery? Oh, my. What do you think, David? Wow. Can I have the number of your surgeon? And do you want to get a drink after work? <laughs> oh, yeah, yum. How do you like your ice cream, Doc? Warm, I hope. I'm fine, thanks, Dave. Hey, Doc, thanks so much for your help with the early recognition signs of mental health problems. I think I understand it a bit better and I know what to do. Yeah, often beginning with some simple communication with the employee is best. To help you earlier recognise mental health problems in the workplace, look for these signs. Workers may have trouble sleeping, are tired and grumpy, previously sociable employees are withdrawn, a worker or their desk has suddenly become untidy. 
Managers are not counsellors, but they can start a discussion with the worker, check in regularly, and maintain a wellbeing focus, not a job performance one. You know, we all deserve to be healthy and happy at work. So from everyone here at Inappropriate Corporation, we'll see you next time. Dave, what are you getting done first, your nose? Oh, what, these things? <laughs> They're tattoos, my heritage.